Despite the devastation arising from the fighting overseas, there are stories of survival that are emerging. Brent Solomon explains how one couple's planned church trip to Israel quickly turned into a frantic rush to get home. Waiting has never been easier to do. Still don't see it. Especially when you know your loved ones are out of the path of danger. It's been um, a roller coaster of emotions. With signs in hand and patience in tow, the Roe family stood by anticipating this. Goodness. Thursday evening, Danny and Carmen Rowe made it home from war-torn Israel. The Godfrey couple went overseas for a church trip to the Holy Land. On their first day there, about 6:30, the sirens started going off, and we thought they were just sirens, that, like, warning sirens yeah. here, test sirens. It didn't take long for reality to hit. And we could hear all the explosions in the background. So we, we were about 35, 40 miles from the Gaza Strip area. And we realized the danger we were in and the possible danger. They wanted us to leave the country. They were so, urging us to get out as, as soon, soon as, as we possible. possibly could. It took days for that to happen. Flights constantly being rescheduled and canceled. Their days spent running into bomb shelters while trying to figure out how to escape. You never heard the sirens go off unless a bomb got through the Iron Dome. When the bomb got through the Iron Dome and the sirens went off, you had one minute to get to shelter yeah. before you would know where it was going to land. When they got the call, a flight was finally available. They rushed to the airport. Several flights later, they're back. I ground them so that they don't leave the country again. <laughs> no, we're going to let them rest, uh, take them dinner, and just let them recover. It's been a long couple of days. You can take my passports now. <laughs>